she didn't want to hear about her car being towed. I don't know if this is the most appropriate sub for this story, so let me know if it belongs elsewhere. I work security for a private business campus that has venues that are often rented by outside groups. One particularly large hall was rented by a local church group and we sold their tickets at the box office immediately in front of the venue. Without going into boring detail, there was only one way into the hall for the general public but numerous exits with cameras everywhere. Parking is free in all three of our parking decks, except in clearly marked reserved spaces, which will be important soon. While visitors were still arriving for the event, our dispatch center received a call from our largest campus tenant complaining that a car was parked in one of their 24-7 reserved spaces and they need it moved ASAP. This company pays for these spaces and is constantly using them at all hours of the day and on weekends, which is why we have numerous highly visible signage for this row of spaces warning people of this fact and that towing is enforced. We reviewed camera footage and saw that the owner was a woman dressed in fine Sunday clothes that were an almost painful shade of lime green with a matching hat. This would have been enough to identify her even in our large hall, but we then noticed that she bypassed the ticket line and made her way to one of the venue's exit doors. She stayed there several minutes and, when one of the cleaning staff exited, she slipped in behind them. We're still not sure how she knew she could do this, BTW. As the supervisor on duty, I entered the hall and found her in one of the front rows sitting in a group of people. She saw me coming in my security uniform and immediately scrunched up her face. Me? Ma'am? Can I her? Interrupting me, now I just sat down. What is it you want? She was already on the defensive and loud. Not a sign of innocence in my experience. Me? I'm with campus security and I need to ask. her cutting me off again, what you need to do is leave me alone. I'm sitting with my family and we're here to enjoy my nephew's concert. Ain't nothing so important you rent a cops need to be both air and me like this. Me? Actually it is important. If you wouldn't mind coming with me, we can talk in the aisle and note, she thinks I'm here because she didn't buy a ticket but I don't care about that. I'm trying to tell her about her car before we have to tow it. This is her only chance to move it herself. Her, no, you ain't kicking me out of here at my own nephew's church concert. Now she starts avoiding eye contact with me. Me, ma'am, I'm not here about how you got inside this hall, I am. Her, raising her voice even more, I don't know what you're talking about but you need to leave me. The hell. Alone. At this point it was so comical that I remember getting the biggest smile on my face and telling her that's all I needed to hear. Enjoy your show. I left and had her car towed immediately. Two hours later she reported her car stolen to our security desk. The desk officer informed her that she parked in a reserved spot and that security had tried to make contact with her before the show began, according to our log. She loudly demanded to speak to whoever was in charge and that's when I came around the corner and introduced myself. The look on her face was priceless and she didn't say another word as I gave her the information for the tow company's lot, which was closed by that time. Edit 1, I omitted her physical appearance, other than her outfit, as it was wholly irrelevant to the story as it unfolded. Those of you making this a race or political issue are disappointing. This is purely a wholesome story about a garbage human doing garbage deeds and getting garbage results back in her garbage life. Now to the comments. This is why it pays to be honest. She lost her car for several hours and paid a bunch of money to get it back the next day. I hope she learned something from this. You know she didn't. Yup. She thinks she got screwed over. This is fabulous. This is justice. You post this on r slash tales from security? OP replied. I did not know that sub existed. Thank you. r slash pro revenge? The cherry on top would have been charging her for the venue before releasing the impound information. The information for the towing yard is on the back of your ticket ma'am.
I would have paid money to watch the fallout from that exchange. Her, interrupting me, now I just sat down. What is it you want? Now what the ever-loving duck does the length of time she's been in her seat have to do with anything? How long does she have to be seated before it's okay to speak to her? For my work I had to walk 20 kilometers a day and when I sat down I just wanted to have 5 minutes to relax before having to deal with something else. So, I went with is it important? Otherwise please let me rest for a few minutes before I take care of you with a nice, exhausted, voice. Where do you work that you have to walk multiple hours and can't take either public transport or ride a bike? Now this is the type of story I subscribed to the sub for. I sighed with satisfaction, audibly, when I got to the last paragraph, that righteous justice just hits the spot. Ah, this is lovely, sweet justice. There are many reasons why this pleases me. Partly, it's the fact that she tried to belittle you. Partly that she was trying to create a scene instead of handling it like an adult. Partly because she must think rules are for suckers. This checks off so many boxes. Shoulda booted her out after towing her for not paying her ticket. No, this way the impound lot was closed before she discovered her vehicle missing. Now she needs a ride to leave and another ride to the impound. Uber screwed. What's the betting she didn't add anything to the collection plate? She probably took some, Leo style from that 70s show. Thanks man. But I'm sure she still claimed 10% tithing to the church on her income taxes. This is just perfect. Even better when she realized it was you that she slumped in defeat. Maybe she learned a lesson maybe not. Either way you complied maliciously and perfectly. I don't know if this belongs here. Mate, you are why the sub exists at all. Welcome. Oh, your car was stolen? Let's review the security footage together. How low do you have to be not to pay the $5 or whatever for the ticket to your kid family members event? The money goes to the school FFS. OP replied. In this case, it was a charity group she was cheating money out of. R slash justice served and R slash justice porn would love this. The final piece of justice in the end would have been to see her ticket for the concert, then she would have had to admit she was there without paying. I know you said you really didn't care, but, get her in trouble twice, that would have been funny. Definitely would have done this before reviewing the actual tape of her car. Might have pulled the video of her. Well, let's call a pile of which what it is, breaking and entering. Well, illegal entry slash trespassing. Lime green woman attempts distraction via loudness and confusion, strategy backfires. Reading this made my nipples rock hard. I don't know why, but all of her dialogue, in my head, sounded just like Eddie Murphy as Rasputia Lattimore, in Norbit. Trick or treat y'all. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. First of all, good on you. This is the best. Second of all, who doesn't pay for a church event, especially one that showcases a family member, her behavior was shameful, entitled and all flavors of wrong. Jesus gonna be calling he out when she arrives at those pearly gates. This is so satisfying to read thank you. It's for a church group. Honey. Next. Tow companies can be dubious but you gave her every chance a person should get. Love it. Beautiful. Couldn't have happened to a more deserving person.